when an object is in free fall, we assume air resistance is negligible and that the only force acting on it is gravity. Okay? Again, in free falling bodies, we are going to assume that air resistance is negligible and that force acting on it is gravity. And for our assuming air resistance is negligible, therefore, the rate of acceleration of all objects in free fall is negative 9.81 meter per second squared. So regardless of the shapes, the size, the mass, basta wala man tayo air resistance nag, nag exist, that is why the rate of acceleration is constant, that is equivalent of negative 9.81 meter per second squared. Now, there are three cases in the free falling bodies. Case one, a body falling from rest. A body that falls from a state of rest and or has no initial velocity. As it falls downward, the magnitude of its velocity increases by 9.81 meter per second squared. Para mas masaktan, try to analyze in our table or free body diagram. So here is our ball or object that starts at rest and then natagak lang siya. That therefore, it is what? No initial velocity or our initial velocity is equal to 0 meter per second. And remember, since then it is a downward okay, direction. And what? It is also what? Our uh, acceleration is due to gravity and that means they are in the same direction. So their velocity is what? In creases. Okay, downward and gravity, same direction. So we will expect the creases. For our case number two, a body thrown down, a body thrown down possesses an initial velocity that is directed downward downward the nanapunchai initial velocity it is displaced downward and its velocities are negative so ang atuang sign convention sa atuang velocity is negative the velocities are increasing in magnitude since they are in the same direction as the acceleration increasing in magnitude same direction as the acceleration we're going to observe in our free body diagram yung bola natin okay a body thrown down Ibaba, no? Ilabay pa baba. So, we will expect that its direction is downward and then the acceleration is due to gravity. Therefore, they are in the same direction. So, we will expect that the velocity or the speed is increases and the value or the sign of our velocity is negative. Okay. Next, case number three, a body thrown up. The stone is tossed vertically upward, vertically upward, vertical upward. It leaves the tosser's hand with a velocity which is directed upward. So, meron tayo tinatawag na upward yung direction, okay? Then, as it goes up, this velocity decreases since the acceleration or gravity is in the opposite direction. And the stone reaches at the highest point where its velocity is momentarily zero. Highest point, anong nangyari sa velocity? Momentarily, zero. And then, the acceleration at the highest point still remains to be gravity. This cannot be refuted since if there were no acceleration at the highest point, the stone will remain at rest. So, it doesn't mean kung na siya sa highest point, uh, nag-zero na siya, momentarily, moment lang siya, nag-zero moment lang siya, di ba? Kaya mubalik naman yan kung siya pababa. What goes up, must come down. Okay, and a body that goes up does not suspend itself in mid-air in a state of rest. In going down, the velocity of the stone and gravity are in the same direction now. Thus, the stone accelerates. So, if we're going to observe in our free body diagram, we can tell that, okay, yung velocity natin, pagpasakan na siya, positive. Okay, hato, dali na to ang highest point. Na positive, positive, nagagamay, no? Kung positive si velocity, that means, uh, nag-decrease yeah, ang speed. Ngano din nag-decrease? It's because upward yung direction but our acceleration is due to gravity munang nagadecrease hanggang at the highest point it is 0 meter per second and then mubalik siya baba what goes up must come down so downward na po ng yang state and then acceleration, acceleration is due to gravity that means they are in the same direction and it is increased no? increases so therefore our velocity is a negative sign and it is increased now let's talk about the free falling bodies equation in as much as free fall is a perfect example of uniformly accelerated motion. Nga na perfect example mo siya kay sa sitwasyon kay free fall na neglect ba nato ang air resistance. That is why uniform ang yang acceleration. No? The equations may be used with the value of acceleration. So naga po siya acceleration but it was changed to negative 9.81 meter per second squared. So what we have here is the three kinematics equation but as you can observe 
yan, yung acceleration natin originally, that is A, but actually it was changed by a gravity, no? Still, our equation number one is velocity is equal to VO plus GT. G, that's gravity. Equation number two, V squared is equal to VO squared plus 2G dy. Bakit dy? Because we are now in the vertical dimension. Vertical y, okay? dy for our equation number three, dy is equal to VOT plus GT squared over 2. Okay? So, simple lang, ano? Kasi ang gravity natin, constant na nitanan. Naan naman siya yung value. Next. So, para di nita maglibog sa mga quantities, okay, we have here dy, that is distance along the y-axis, final velocity for v, our initial velocity, that is vo, and for our time, that is t, and of course, our gravity is equal to negative 9.81 meter per second squared. Okay? So, what we have here is an example or a sample problem. A ball falls from rest from the edge of a tabletop. It hits the ground in 0.50 seconds. What is the velocity with which it hits the ground? And how high is the table? So, i-highlight natin, i-highlight natin yung mga important data ng problem. From rest, 0.50, velocity, and high. Okay? So, pinakamadali if we are going to draw it or sketch with a free body diagram. Table, ito yung object natin na ball na nataga. So, actually, it is case case number 1, no? So, sa case number 1, sa initial velocity is equivalent to 0 meter per second. And then, pagbaba niya, okay, na-cover niya into 0.50 second. Okay? Pag hit sa ground, na-covered ang time na 0.50. So, we are asked to find pilagay ang height sa table o kung sa yahang final velocity. Okay, go back to our equations for the free-falling bodies. Pariyaragya po niya siya o technique kung asang pinakadali. So, how about we try to find the dy, no? the distance. Pwede ba na ito magamit sa equation number 1? Of course not, kasi walang quantity ng distance. So, it is either 2 or 3. Yung problema natin kay equation number 2, wala tayong value ni final velocity. So, ang pinakamadali, kung una ko na ito si dy, equation number 3 pa rin. Okay? So, let's try to go and let's start with the GUPSA technique, no? For our given. Okay. Ano yung mga given natin? Okay, balik tayo. Balikan mo yung free body diagram. So, what we have here is that the initial velocity is equal to 0 meter per second and our time is equal to 0 0.50 seconds. That is our G. How about the unknown? So, yung unknown natin, dalawa. But, I am only asking you to solve our unknown in dy. Okay? dy lang sa ta. So, what is our formula? Atuan naman ang review ganina that ang pinakamaayong gamito na formula since then, ang pinakadali, si dy volt plus gt squared. So, dy is equal to volt plus gt squared divided by 2. Okay? Next, our solution. Okay, again, in our solution, dili na tayo mag-derive of formula. Now, take note, nago ba tayo i-derive ng formula? Okay, actually, wala na i-derive na formula. It's because ready naman siya to solve our, okay, unknown. Since our volt or VO is equal to zero, so automatically it is zero. So, dy is equal to, ayan, gt squared divided by 2. Okay? Okay, padayon ta. So, we have dy is equal to gt squared divided by 2. So, we are, we are going to substitute the given values. Our gravity is equal to negative. So, may mo siyang negative 9.81 meter per second squared multiplied by our time that is 0 0.50 second. And then, do not forget our 2 na nasa baba. So, simplify muna natin. So, negative 9.81 meter per second squared. 0 0.50 second multiplied by itself. So, meron tayong 0 0.25 second squared. Then, divided by 2. Of course, we can now cancel the second squared. And then, negative 9.81 multiplied by 0 0.25. We have negative 2.45 to 5 meters. Meters lang nabili kaya na-cancel na si second squared divided by 2 that is equivalent of pilaman. Okay? So, we have 1.22625 meters since final answer naman ta. Okay? Answer that is A. Therefore, A for the gupsa that is equivalent to negative 1.23 meters. That is our D1.